Okay, the mic is on mute. To unmute, press the button that controls your microphone. Creating the perfect desk setup is certainly not an easy feat. It's something that involves thought, work, and even quite a bit of maintenance. A project like this requires you to truly think about what you need to get work done, the core ingredients, the essentials that help you do your best work. However, this is also something that we often overthink. The idea of having the perfect setup is great, but it's also an idea that's subjective. It's all personal preference, and in the end, everyone has their own idea, their own personal dream setup in mind. So today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some tips to help you bring your dream desk setup, no matter what it is, to life. What is up, my friends? It's right back here. And over the past few months, I've been sharing with you guys my new work from home creative setup and the consistent updates that came along with it since its inception. 2020 made us realize that we have to be prepared for anything. And having a dedicated, productive setup to get work done on at home is incredibly important. I've learned a lot over these past few months, and I'm going to be using that knowledge to help you guys create the ultimate setup and bring your dream workspace to life. And know this is not HDTV. Before we continue on with this video though, I just wanted to remind you guys to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified by YouTube whenever I live stream and upload new videos. There is so much content coming down the pipeline that I don't want you guys to miss a thing. So with that out of the way, let's hop to it. The first thing I recommend doing is finding a space to dedicate to your workspace. This can be in your bedroom, a spare room, a corner in your basement. Find somewhere that will be quiet and offer enough space for you to be productive and get stuff done. You'll never know it, but my new workspace is in my bedroom and my new YouTube studio, it's in a corner in my basement. Both are quiet, cozy, and spacious enough for me to feel comfortable and not overwhelmed. You'll definitely want to do something similar for your new workspace, so definitely find the right space to put it. My next tip would be to buy once and buy right when choosing your equipment. This part really comes down to budget in the end, but it's a solid piece of advice. While there are many eye-catching cheap options options out there, you really want to do your research and choose products that will last, especially if you're working from home full time. Building out a workspace is a huge investment in time and money, so you're going to want to make sure that A, it lasts, and B, that you're comfortable. If I were to give a rough estimate of all the items in my new workspace, it would probably be around $1,500 to $2,000, including the desk, so it wasn't really all that terrible, especially when you consider the fact that this stuff pays for itself. So buy once and buy I write if your budget allows it. I drop links to everything that I'm using in my setup in the description box down below, just in case you're curious or want to copy my setup. After you find a space and choose equipment slash get your equipment, my next piece of advice would be to make sure that your new setup is truly yours. The beauty of creating a new workspace is that there's no one set way of doing things, and there's quite possibly nothing else like it out there of what you're doing. Like, the possibilities are endless. Use stuff that you like, things that are helpful, or decorate it for each holiday or holiday that's coming up. Whatever it is that you're into, be sure to personalize things and make your setup truly yours. Personally, I am all about a clean, minimal, productive setup, so I don't really have too much outside of the essentials. However, everyone is different. Everyone has different needs. Whatever it is that you're feeling or whatever it is you're into, feel free to add it to your new workspace and just make it your own. Another tip that I have would be to manage your cables. Cable management is incredibly important in any desk setup, and it either makes or breaks a setup when it comes to looks. Having wires running around everywhere just makes things seem very unorganized. A good way to manage this situation is both velcro and adhesive zip ties. These two things will ensure that wires are locked into place and streamlined into a nice clean organized look. There's also cable management trays that hang underneath your desk and keep cables from dangling everywhere. I am a total neat freak and cable management is something that I obsess over a little too much sometimes, I'll admit it. If you're looking to create a clean workspace, managing cables is a must, but the time spent doing it is well worth worth it in the end. And lastly, my final piece of advice would be to maintain things. Putting together your dream desk setup or workspace is only half the battle, and since you're no doubt going to want to keep things spotless, you're going to want to maintain things as much as possible. Since I have so little stuff on my desk, it has been incredibly easy for me to just remove things, spray some furniture polish, and dust away. It takes me only like 5 minutes or so every week. It's not bad at all. My recommendation to maintain things would be to grab some furniture polish, duster wipes, and 
microfiber cloths. All these things will allow you to keep all your shiny new gear and equipment looking clean, fresh, and new all the time, which is something that is really great. So there you have it, five tips for building out your dream desk setup. Like I said earlier, building out and creating a new workspace is an investment and it all comes down to personal preference in the end. Everyone has different needs, different end goals. So use this advice, go create your dream desk setup and just have fun with it. There's no doubt in my mind that doing this and changing around your workspace is just gonna be a complete game changer. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, you know the drill by now. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.